Hello. Uh, this tutorial is going to be on the new Wander Force. Um, so it's just this is a setup of a basic scene. Um, should be familiar at this point. Uh, we can see that when we uh, simulate this um, scene, uh, right now there's no forces applied, so they're just emitted with a random initial velocity. Um, so let's see what happens if we plug in the Wander Force. So this is going to cause the agents to wander around the scene seemingly at random. So it's, it's, uh, instead of just applying a completely random force each time step, uh, the force is instead based on kind of previous um, velocity. So you can see the difference here. So they just drive straight, and here they're kind of pick a direction and then kind of wander around. So, uh, I'll try to explain this more in depth and, and show you what each of the parameters does. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to set up a scene um, with just one, just one agent. And it's going to wander. So here we have a pretty low um, strength and a pretty low rate as well. So it's uh, not going to wander so sporadically. It's going to look much more controlled and as if it's traveling in, in kind of a similar direction. So to show you what these things do, um, this component will also output these surfaces. Uh, so this is a, a sphere. I'll try to show you this. This is a sphere. So because it's set pretty low, it's very small. Let's set it up to one. And then we also preview the point. So these are hidden by default in this component, but as long as you plug in a, uh, you know, a container, you'll be able to see them. Um, so now you can see there's the sphere that's kind of in front of the agent, and then this point. So the sphere is represented by um, where it's kind of calculated by the strength value. So the size of the sphere is directly related to the size of um, the strength. And so this is actually the search space that the agent is going to look at um, to choose its next point. So this is kind of how big its search space is. So if I plug a very large number, um, it's going to be able to um, you know, choose a point to steer towards um, in, in, a in a wider range. And you can see that when I plug that in, it definitely uh, started wandering a bit more. Um, and this is going to be easier to do um, if I set this velocity to zero. And so now we're just looking at a static point. So this, the point in the center is going to um, try to, well, it's not really our agent. Our agent is a little bit behind. Um, so here you, you saw that these the strength value is going to affect the size of the search space, and the rate um, is actually going to affect how much it changes from um, time step to time step. So right now it's very low, and so it looks very controlled, and, and the next point is chosen um, at a very close point um, related to it. So if I raise this up to, let's raise it up to like 0.5, uh, you can see that that rate of change is much greater, so that from one time step to the next, it's choosing, uh, you know, a much more varied uh, position. If you put it all the way up to one, it's going to be able to choose a point on one side of the circle, and the next time step choose a point on the other side of the sphere. Um, so, uh, so this is going to affect how much um, it, it, it wanders, or how much it kind of changes direction from frame to frame. So if I release this guy, wandering. I'll just preview these for now. Uh, it's going to be able to wander um, and vary its uh, direction a lot more. So here you saw a loop formed. Uh, it can go back on itself. Um, and of course you can uh, change these values uh, as the force is being applied. So if I bring this all the way down to zero, it should travel in uh, pretty much a straight line because it, uh, it's choosing the same point each time. 
bring up a little bit more. It's going to wander a little bit. Bring it up a little bit more. It's going to wander even more. And then as you raise it, um, you get much more varied motion. Um, uh, that's it for now, I guess. Uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea of uh, how you can use the wanderer force and, and how it's actually calculated. Uh, so here we go.